Yeah. Again, again, you guys back to back the, nicely this week. You had a good game. game. Uh, we'll talk about they, that. They but the first half uh, offense, we, we came out and, and took two drives to get our, boy, uh, to get a rhythm. We, we don't want it to take that long. That. We'd like to just start a game um, in rhythm. Um, but after those first two drives, we came back four straight drives with yeah, touchdowns, um, and we can't ask for anything more than that. Um, so I thought that we came out with a lot of a lot of fight, a lot of horsepower, made it tough for Troy. Um, Troy came out as well. They were they were playing really good on offense. Things were clicking for them. And then in the halftime, I think both defensive units made very good adjustments. Troy started putting bringing safeties in the box against us, making it a little bit more difficult to run the ball. And um, our defense stepped up big time in the second half as well. So I think I look at the game kind of a, an offensive shootout in the first half and a defensive stand on the second half. And luckily we were able to win the first half and we won the second half. And it's nice to get a victory. Chemistry with Jameson Crowder continues. Um, talk about that a little bit, uh, just about what it's like to have a playmaker like that. Yeah, and I think we're developing a lot of playmakers. You see Max McCaffrey stepping up big time for us. Um, especially in the past two weeks. Um, obviously, Jameson's always a deep threat just because the special talent that he is. And then also getting more comfortable with the young kids, too. Like, John L made a huge catch for me on third and 20, keeping that drive around going down and scoring on that. Uh, I mean, we've got so many threats deep that, uh, I mean, defenses don't know who I'm going to throw it to deep every single play, and then we dump it down to Deaver, who gets just a 20-yard run on a simple two-yard pass. I think I could have handed it to him. Um, so, just the amount of weapons that we have is, is awesome. I mean, it's, it's real comforting whenever you're a quarterback, especially on third and 20, to just be able to throw it up to a guy, especially a young cat, have the confidence that he's going to go make a play for you. You guys connected on several explosives. Did you see something on tape prior to this game where you had felt like you guys could go deep, hit the deep ball several times? We saw stuff on tape, but more than just what was on tape, we knew that we've got players where we said that our player against their player one-on-one, -on -one, we expect to make explosive plays, and that's what we did. Um, you like to minimize the, whenever you're taking those shots, sometimes it's a one-on-one -on -one shot, and I thought that the Troy, made a, Troy DB made a great play on that one interception, but if you look at it through the game, um, the amount of deep shots that we were able to take and how many successful ones we had, um, we'll, take, we'll take a negative play, but we're trying to get it so that that negative play is an incompletion and not a, an interception, obviously, but um, yeah, well, I think we, we executed very well on offense today. Speaking of shots, you kind of took one there uh, in the second half. Was there a moment where you were kind of worried that you weren't going to be able to come back? No, not at all. Um, I kind of got the wind knocked out of me. I, I think probably just bruised ribs or something like that. Um, you just got to get your breath back. Um, I was kind of mad at myself that I wasn't able to get back a little bit quicker. Um, it's not very fun just laying on the field waiting for everybody. But, uh, but you know, I came back up and just felt fine. And uh, so. Um, I mean, there's not, there's never a time where I was really worried. I've, I've had big injuries before. We're right on the field. I could tell I was out, and that it wasn't one today. So I never felt like I was going to be out of the game. Brendan, one interception day. That's a lot better than last week. Are you, be, are, are you still in the process of figuring it out? You know, I think, I think it's never been, I, I, I guess, a process. It's just a figuring out where the ball's supposed to go. I know where the ball's supposed to be. It's just, I guess, it's a process more of um, just me in practice making myself make faster reads of where the ball is supposed to go. I think last week there were some times where I knew the coverage, I knew the play, I knew where this ball was supposed to go, but I was just trying to play too fast and was trying to force balls where they shouldn't have been. And so today I kind of slowed that down and read the, I still read the defense the same way I did last week. Um, I, was just, I think I was just more controlled in the pocket today. How much does it help you guys as an offense?